Good afternoon, mango lovers. Look at this tree right here. This is an 015. And I'll post a linking video to this tree. I am hoping this tree produces this upcoming season. Um, last season, it did not. It was sort of big enough, but it was a little bit too young. I'll post the video because th this thing stayed so tiny for almost a full year. And I was babying it, babying it. I'll, give, I'll tell you what happened. It's called transplant shock. I bought the tree. I was so excited. I came out. I put it in the ground. And it just did not wasn't happy what are, what should i have done i should have bought the tree come here put it under one of the older trees that have shade give it a few weeks in my property move it out to the sun gradually and then plant the tree because i did not i got excited i transplant shocked it it stayed green with a leaf or two and grow and but not growing for almost a full year but this growth here i, I don't i'd have to go back and look this is almost crazy as it seems, a year, a little over a year's worth of growth, year and a half maybe. Um, let's take a look, I'll turn the camera around. So this tree is over seven, probably closer to eight feet tall. What you can see is a lot of new growth, the tender growth, really fresh young stuff here. And I've already cut out nitrogen on this, or I will be cutting it out right now. I'm going to probably give it some of the K mag and, and hopefully I can get this bad boy to produce. Um, I like those Indian flavored mangoes. I know they're not for everybody, but they are to me and my family and a lot of my customers is very delicious. And I'm hoping this thing will give me some wonderful 015, that spicy uh, flavored mango. I'm excited about it. Um, yeah. That's all I can say. I don't know what else to say about it. Let me get the link in there and hopefully we can enjoy this this year.